Hi, my friends. So we've been talking about, there goes that big word down there, community helpers. And a community helper is a person that helps our community grow big and strong. So, Miss Nicole, there is an activity in your packets for homework right there. It looks like that. And you received a bunch of people. So we're going to go through and first, before we do the activity, we're going to go through and talk about the people. The first person we see is a doctor and he is a person who helps us when we're sick, who makes sure that we get better, gives us vaccines so we can stay safe. And on the other side, there is a community helper. He's an inspector. And an inspector is a person that helps us solve things. Oh, our next person is a baker. A baker is a person who makes us yummy treats like candies, cookies, even bread. And the baker helps us to have food to eat. Now the person in the picture on the other side, oh, is what me and Miss Laura are. We're teachers. We're more community helpers because we teach our friends things like math, science, social studies, numbers, letters. Our next person is a crossing guard. Now the crossing guard is a community helper because they keep us safe by helping us cross the street. Hmm. Our next community helper friend, that is a doctor, or it could be a nurse, and they help keep us safe. Ooh, and this one is a gardener. A gardener is a person who grows fruits and vegetables, and they help the community because they give us food. We didn't have gardeners, we wouldn't be able to eat. Hmm. Our next community helper is a firefighter. Firefighter helps to fight fires. And on the back of that, we have a garbage man. See the garbage man? And he's the person that collects our garbage. So we don't live in filth. So our last but not least, is our barber. Our barber is a person who cuts our hair and their community helper. So we have our worksheet. So you see right here, friends. And it has all these different things. And we gotta think about what it could be. First, the first statement says, I cut hair, who am I? Well, friends, person that cuts hair is called a, a mystical calls them a barber or so mystical is going to put our barber down that's the person that's holding the scissors and she looks like she has a smock on and the smock is a type of apron that protects our clothes from getting dirty so we're gonna put our person right there the next one says I fight fires who am I hmm person that fights fires. I remember, remember friends, that we just actually saw a person that fights fire and they drew a big red truck called a fire truck. So that person is called a firefighter. So Miss Nicole is going to look for a firefighter. We may have to turn over some of our cards because we don't have, hmm, there's a baker. Our firefighter. He is wearing a yellow hat, a yellow suit, and black boots. So we're going to put our firefighter right here. Our next one says, I bake bread. Who am I? Well, a person who bakes bread or other kind of sweets like we talked about is called a baker. So we got to look for one of our community helpers that bakes bread or other delicious sweets. So we're gonna look. 
It's not this guy right here, because that guy is a doctor. And it's not this guy right here, because he looks like he's a hiker. And it's not this one here, here because she's a surgeon. Hmm, what about this one, friends? Hmm, I think that one's our baker. So we're gonna put our baker down where it says, I bake bread. And the next one, it says, I collect garbage. Who am I? So a person that collects garbage. Hmm, that's a really good one. Hmm, they're called a garbage man. So we can look up here. Oh, is that a garbage man? Haha, <laughs> silly, Miss Nicole. That's a little doggy. And that's a, our fire dog, or our Dalmatian. Hmm, I see one right there. And that is called, that is our garbage man. Because like you see, friends, he's holding a garbage can. And he has this orange vest on. So we're going to put him right here on our paper. So, so far, we got our person that cuts hair, which is our barber. A person who fights fires, which is our firefighter. A person who bakes bread, which is our baker. And a person who collects garbage, which is our garbage meal. And our next one is this, I work on a farm. Who am I? Now, we remember we talked about this person yesterday. And they, we colored their hat yellow. And one of my friends knew who it was today. So we call them a farmer. So we're gonna look flip our over. Let's see, we're gonna flip our papers over. Hmm, there's our inspector. This one, I don't think this is a farmer. This is a little girl, she looks like she's a crossing guard member. She keeps us safe. This one, she could be a farmer. Miss Nicole called her a gardener, but she could be a farmer because she has fruits and vegetables. This one right here, friends, I don't think that one's a gardener. So we're gonna go with this one for our farmer because we don't really have a precise picture for that. So we got, like Miss Nicole said, we have our barber, our firefighter, our barber who cuts hair, our firefighter who fights fires, our baker who bakes bread, our garbage man who collects garbage, and our fireman, or I'm sorry, our farmer who has vegetables. So we're gonna flip our paper over and we're gonna work on the back. And we're gonna see what, like there's four more clues. It says, I take care of you when you're sick. Who am I? Hmm, who takes care of us when we're sick? I know you're probably saying mommy and daddy. They do, but they do, but there's somebody else that takes care of us when we're sick. Miss Nicole, Thanks. That might be a doctor. So we gotta look for our doctor. Got a football. Ooh, I think Miss Nicole found the doctor. There's a doctor right there. She has like a light on her head. But we're looking for another kind of doctor. Let's see. Ooh, I think Miss Nicole just threw the doctor on the floor. Well, oh, right here, our doctor. Nope. Miss Nicole's gonna put it right here. He's got in the blue. It says. I help children when I cross the street safely. So that person would be our crossing guard. So Miss Nicole's gonna look. This is not our, our crossing guard. That's our teacher because she has an apple in her hand and a roller. That's not our crossing guard because she has scissors. She's our barber. Hmm, how about this one? Aw oh, man, silly Miss Nicole. That's a garbage can. This has to be our garbage man. Oh, look at this one, friends. This one has to be our crossing guard because it has a stop sign. So there we go, right there. It says, I help, it says, I help the doctor, who am I? So person that helps our doctor is called our nurse. So, my friends, I think this one might, there's this one, there's this picture, and but Miss Nicole thinks it might be this one because she has a little light on her head. So we're going to put that one there. So like I said, friends, we have our doctor, our crossing guard, and our nurse. Doctor helps us when we're sick. Crossing guard helps us to cross safely in the community. And our nurse assists our doctor. And the last but not least is this, I help to keep our streets safe. Who am I? Hmm. Someone that helps to keep our streets safe is would be a police officer. So we gotta flip all of our parts over. Hmm, 
I don't know, I'm missing a quarter and see a police officer in any of these pictures. So. It's under the Jordan Shepherd. We're going to look. Hold on. I think Miss Laurel's going to find it. So if you're looking for that picture, it's it's the police officer with the German Shepherd. So my friends, that is the end of that activity. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Miss Nicole.